The maximum allowable working pressure for a vessel is the maximum pressure permissible at the top of the vessel in its normal operating position at the designated coincident temperature specified for that pressure. It is the least of the values found for maximum allowable working pressure for any of the essential parts of the vessel by the principles given in B below and adjusted for any difference in static head that may exist between the part considered and the top of the vessel. This seems like a simple statement, but you'll see a little bit later there's more to it than meets the eye. UG98B The maximum allowable working pressure for a vessel part is the maximum internal or external pressure including the static head thereon as determined by the rules and formulas in this division together with the effect of any combination of loadings listed in UG22 which is likely to occur for the designated coincident temperature excluding any metal thickness specified as corrosion allowance. In the code there are two types of maximum allowable working pressure or MAWP. One is for the vessel itself, the one most think of and refer to all the time. The other is the one for each part of the vessel referred to in UG98 as the part MAWP. Think of it in this way. A vessel has shell, heads, chambers, etc. and pressure allowed or thickness required calculations must be performed for each one to determine the MAWP of the vessel. When doing these calculations you cannot take credit for any extra thickness designed into the vessel as a corrosion allowance. The weakest of the vessel parts, considering other loadings such as static head of contents, weight of insulation, wind, etc., will determine MAWP of the entire vessel. It is the weakest link in the chain that determines MAWP. The pressure referred to here can be internal or external. The MAWP of a vessel is the pressure allowed in a vessel at its top in its normal operating position and at its maximum operating temperature. The MAWP can be determined for more than one designated operating temperature using for each temperature the applicable allowable stress value. 